Hi, Gemini. I am here with your monthly October 2019 reading. We have three piles. We have the labradorite here, or I'm sorry, the lepidolite here, the labradorite here, and um, the fluorite here. So this is pile number one, this is pile number two, and this is pile number three. All right? So if you need to take a few deep breaths and pause the video, and go full screen, go ahead and do that. But I'm gonna get right into the reading. All right, so I wanna make sure I have like some light to show the cards if for some reason it gets dark, so. Pile number two over here, and pile number three over here. So if you pick pile number one, I'm sensing that this set of Geminis has been going through quite a bit of depression start getting better um your load is going to start lightening i feel like some of you have had financial problems um stuff going on like that uh right away i'm feeling like there's been some depression here there's been some anxiety fears worries stuff like that and some financial issues for this pile of gemini i'm already feeling that so we're gonna pull your cards we got gatekeeper remember how i said it was gonna get better there's ships coming. Green man's door. Dragon's pet. Unconditional love. Oh, beautiful. There may be somebody you want to tell them that you love them. Control. Or zombie. Joy. Hmm. Lady Dale is mortals. The lamp. Fur. The optimist is that your love life. New love. Holiday. Um, increase support. Let me pull all the cards before I read this, but some of you are starting over with somebody you just want to start fresh and like, I feel like you want to start fresh in your life. You want to like start over self-confidence through God confidence. Let me pull some more. Throat chakra. Be willing to forgive. Five of water. Yeah, what was I saying about depression? Eight of water. Something about depression. Okay. Six of abundance. Trust in the magic. And give with gratitude and grace. Love is all around. And hope. Okay, so there's quite a few messages I'm getting here. I'm getting some of you walked away from a person and you want to start over with them. You walked away from them because you weren't ready and you kind of want to start over with them. Because you're finally feeling optimistic about this connection. Others of you, you've kind of been wondering if love is really worth your time. Um, you've kind of, you've kind of been willing. You, you, you kind of been wondering if love is worth your time. I'm getting you. You've been wondering if love is worth your time. If you know, if you're gonna get hurt, if you're gonna have enough confidence to to speak your truth um, in a partnership or. If you're going to, like, because I feel like you guys are the kind of people that have kind of been closed off to love for a while. Um, I feel like th this, this pile, you kind of been closed off to love for a while. And some of you, there has been a person in your life that you've walked away from that you want to come back to.
and try and give it another chance because they're such a good person. And others of you, because you've walked away from your depression, the love is naturally coming to you. I feel like you're walking away away from pain. I feel like you're leaving past pain behind. No, this doesn't feel like a new person. I know this says new love, but it doesn't feel like a new person. This feels like starting over, like a rebirth. I'm really getting a rebirth. Um, I feel like um, also the thing that I'm getting with the new love card is that you guys are trying new things and um, learning to find new things that you love. I'm like, I'm not getting a serious love vibe off this pile. I'm not getting a serious love vibe. I'm not getting like this new love card doesn't really feel like love. I feel like those of you that are in a relationship, you may have kind of, I feel like you guys kind of backed off from someone, but you like stayed optimistic. You had hoped this person would kind of wait for you. I'm getting, I'm getting you wanted this person to wait for you because at the time you weren't ready for love. This doesn't feel like a new love. This feels like a very current love. This feels like someone you've known. Um, and I feel like you are noticing new feelings blossoming. New romantic feelings blossoming that you never thought you could have. And I feel like before you started to have these new romantic feelings with this person that you kind of backed off from, whether you walked away from them or you backed off from them, um, you started to realize that you have romantic feelings for this person. And I feel like before, before when you had romantic person feelings for this person, you were terrified. You were like, I don't want to get hurt again. Because I feel like you guys have been hurt in your life. Uh, a lot. I feel like you guys don't socialize a lot. Um, I feel like you guys are a very um, singular pile. You you isolate a lot, especially with your depression. You guys isolate a lot, and I feel like you are being called to socialize and join in. I feel like you are being called to finally get out there and socialize and join in, and I feel like you guys have been scared to love. You guys have been scared to love. And so, like, some of you have been hurt in the past, and so you've been scared to love. So I feel like you're, you're taken, like, you've been taken aback by these new romantic feelings that you're having for someone. It's like, um, it doesn't feel like new, uh, a new lover. It feels like new romantic feelings, if that makes any sense. Like, um, um, like... You haven't felt this way. The thing I am getting off of this right here is you haven't felt this way in a long time. So this is kind of like, it's new for you to have this in again. But see, a lot of you feel like it's really good. And a lot of you feel like this person that that, that you have romantic feelings for, I'm hearing in love with. I'm, I'm actually hearing this person you're in love with. You, you almost think it's too good to be true. But your guys are saying, no, this isn't too good to be true. You are being rewarded with this person because you are such a good person. You have fought. You have you fought for, for emotional healing. You have fought for yourself. You have, some of you have kids, and you have taken care of your kids. You have fought through the pain. And they're saying, now's your time. Now's your time to have this beautiful new love. You know, like, I feel like you guys may have pushed this person away. Um, and you guys are still wanting to reconnect with this person. But you may have pushed them away for a while. Like, I feel like you pushed them away for the longest time. And now you're kind of, you're kind of feeling like, well, maybe I should give it a chance. You know? You're kind of feeling like, well, maybe I should give it a chance. And I'm getting, like, flirt. I feel like this person, you were kind of 
some of you with this person that, that, that you kind of backed away from, you kind of maybe told them you didn't want love right away. Um, some of you, some of you with this person may have started off with friends with benefits. Um, I've got the flirt card. Some of you guys were like really sexual with this person and you, um, I feel like you guys were around them a lot and you started to realize you were falling in love and you, you, I'm sorry, I'm going to say it. I'm, I'm not, no, you know what? I'm not going to be sorry. I tell it like it is. You tuck tail and ran because you were scared of getting hurt. Um, there was somebody in your past that broke down your confidence so low and took advantage of your giving nature. I felt like I feel like there was a person in your past that you gave a lot to. You gave a lot to this person in the past and this person took advantage of you. So now you're scared of this other person that is actually showing you genuinely love. Genuine love. Okay, so this this person that that you may have kind of pushed away because you were scared actually could be your true soulmate. You know, that's that's what I'm getting. This could be the one. I am literally hearing this could be the one. I feel like you push them away because you've been taken advantage of in the past. Because you're a very giving person. You're a very kind person. You're that kind of person that's going to support anybody um, through things. You, you will talk people through things. You're a very good listener. Um, and I feel like some of you guys are having a hard time speaking up to this person that you pushed away and telling them that hey I actually do have feelings for you and so you guys are kind of I see you guys coming back to this person like a really flirty nature I'm seeing you guys come back to this person in a really flirty nature and try to give it a chance um, and you're, you're trying to keep it lighthearted. You're trying to make sure. I feel like you guys are trying to make sure this person still wants you. Um, and, you know, so we've got to be willing to forgive. So I feel like, yeah, something in your past, something in your past caused you to push away love for so long. And your guides have been trying to give you this new love for, I'm hearing, months. Some of you a year. Um, some of you met this person a year ago. And they, your guides have been trying to give you this new love for a year. Because I feel like a long, long time ago, you prayed to have someone understand you. You prayed to have someone love you for who you are. And not judge you for who you are. And here they are. Here they are. But you pushed them away. Eight of Cups. You pushed them away. You pushed them away and you isolated yourself. You isolated yourself. Um, you may have isolated yourself for months because you were so scared of love. And um, it was like you didn't want to lose control. You, I feel like you guys kept your desires under control with control here. With zombie control. I feel like you guys were like in emperor mode. Like, the Emperor card, he sets boundaries. He controls his feelings. Like, I feel like you guys try to keep your feelings on lockdown. Um, but you guys, like, you're starting to rem remember. Like, we've got remembrance. You guys are starting to remember all the good times that you had with this person. I really feel like you are. I feel like you guys are worried this person won't let you back in. Because I'm drawn to the galactic and Gaian entry point. And this looks like a door knocker. So I feel like you guys are scared that this person won't let you back in. Because you pushed them away. There is someone that you're scared that, that won't let you back in. Because you pushed them away. And now you're just realizing, man, I'm really in love with this person. I, I really do love this person. And I pushed them away. Can they ever forgive me? Um for pushing them away. That six of abundance, that six of pentacles. Heaven opens its loving arms and pours abundance onto you. An unexpected gift is on its way. Except, accept it with gratitude and humility, knowing that you will have a chance to return the gener generosity and giving to others in the future. So I feel like you are going to be pleasantly surprised when this person accepts you in because here's what this person has for you. 
Beauty and the Beast. This is what th this person that you pushed away. They have absolute under unconditional love for you. And I feel like what your guides and your angels were trying to give you was a lesson in learning that unconditional love does exist because I feel like for a long time you guys stopped believing in unconditional love. You guys stopped believing that there was a chance that there could be unconditional love in life because you had been hurt in the past. You know, I feel like your pets and animals have walked you through your depression and they will continue to walk you through your depression. I feel like some of you like this person because they are in tune with everything that you like. Um, you know, they, they like pets too. They like movies too. They like whatever. They like a lot of the same things you do. And I feel like they may have pets too. Okay, so rejoicing in the present. So you have joy coming. You have joy coming. Um, and the joy is coming from, I feel like, finally speaking your truth to this person. Because you're going to find that when you speak your truth to this person, when you tell them, I'm sorry for walking away, I was scared because I've been hurt in the past, this person's going to accept you. Um, they're going to accept you because this is what they have for you. They have unconditional love for you. There's no reason to be scared of this person. I don't think this person would ever want to hurt you. Um, I'm getting trust in the magic. Like you guys are having trouble trusting and you're trying to trust that this person won't hurt you, but you guys have been scared. And I feel like, you know, you guys have had a lot of shit go on in your past that you maybe haven't discussed with this person. Maybe you kept it to yourself because you isolated because we've got the five of cups that's 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 a depression isolation type thing crying over spilled milk you know stuff not turning out like you hoped i feel like you guys have had a lot of bullshit happen in the past um a lot of pain happened in the past a lot of trauma happened in the past and you've just gone through major depression like i'm hearing major depressive disorder for a lot of you um lady de los muertos and yeah see i was having trouble picking up this card and it says acceptance and equality. So I feel like you guys are afraid that you won't have acceptance and equality from this person. But you actually are. This person is an equal give or take person. Um, because this card I feel is your person's energy. The unconditional love. Um, what you're not seeing is this person that you pushed away actually really is a person with unconditional love. They have unconditional love for you. I know this says a new person has stirred romantic feelings, but I feel like this is new romantic feelings, not not a new person. This doesn't this this feels like someone you walked away from or pushed away in the past. Like you I don't think you ever completely walked away from them. I feel like you still talk to them. You're still in communication with them, but you push them away. You push them away because you were scared. You didn't you didn't want to lose control of your life. I feel like you guys have a lot of passion for this person. Um I feel like you guys have a lot of passion for this person. I'm feeling called to draw one more fairy oracle for you. I feel like you guys have had a lot of passion for this person and it kind of scared you because you feel like you can just like you like let it all hang out you blurt everything out in front of this person oh my gosh i cannot fake this shit i'm just drawing okay the secret path an irresistible pull down a, a distinct path yeah this person was like irresistible to you exactly what i was saying i cannot fake this shit i'm just channeling so um this lets, this lets me know that I'm saying the right thing in this reading. I'm like, wow. Yeah, I'm channeling very well. Okay, so fairy lovers, new love, courtship, romance, falling in love. So I feel like you guys fell in love with this person and you kind of hid it from your person. You kind of hid your passions for this person. But like an irresistible pull, like you had an irresistible pull to be with this person. Um, it's crazy how this came out with the lover's card. 
it's crazy how this came out with the lover's card to clarify exactly what I was saying. There was an irresistible pull to this person and you felt like you just couldn't control yourself. And, you know, you could be yourself with this person. We've got Shimmer. You could be yourself with this person. You didn't have to worry about your self-confidence, but this person had a lot of allure. I feel like this person, not only was this person awesome and they made you laugh and they made you smile, but this person gave you, was so alluring, so sexy, so, like, you were just drawn to them. They were so sexy, alluring. It, it was like they were an irresistible person and this you you couldn't control your passions for them and no matter how hard you tried and i feel like you daydream about this person on a daily basis creative daydreaming you daydream about this person on a daily basis and this person may have invited you to come see them a lot this is an invitation follow me come this is your invitation to enter the fairy realm so I feel like this person has tried to invite you over a lot and some of you have kind of just pushed them away and said, no, I'm busy. No, I'm doing this. But in reality, I don't think you guys were that busy. I think you guys were just scared. So what I'm getting is you were just too scared to um, advance with this person. And so it made it hard for you to kind of be with this person because you were so scared. You were like, I'm getting this paralyzed in fear vibe. Like, you guys were so scared. You were afraid you were going to lose control of your emotions. Um, some of you, this person was willing to do anything with you. Like, I feel like a lot of you started out as friends with benefits. And I feel like a lot of you have slept with this person. And when you did sleep with this person, it's like this person was open to your fantasies. They were open to everything. But some of you were afraid you were going to hurt this person. Um, because you guys... I'm getting a lot of you have a lot of kinky fantasies and you were afraid you were going to hurt this person but I feel like this person would guide you if you had kinky fantasies um, I don't think you'll hurt this person and I feel like you guys are also scared of emotionally hurting this person because this person is so much like you um, this person that, sh that, that you're with th or this, this person that you want to start pursuing again that that you kind of pushed away but definitely want to start pursuing again you kind of um you you're worried you're gonna hurt them because they've been through the same shit that you have and i feel like it baffles you that you found somebody that has been through the same stuff that you have and it kind of scares you and i feel like you know this person is a very giving person as well and i feel like this person has offered their love to you a lot and I feel like you're receiving urges. I feel like you're receiving urges from the divine. I feel like you're receiving urges from the divine to really reach out and contact this person. Um, because they're saying you, they're saying to you, how much hope has this person gives and given to you already? Like, I feel like you're still in contact with this person. You still text them or something like that. You're still in contact with them. And you still love them very, very much. Some of you may still even be hanky-pankying with them all every so often as friends with benefits. But this person has given you so much hope in your darkness. I feel like this person has been an anchor to you in your times of darkness. You've had so many dark times where you've wanted to give up. I am getting like um, a kind of very very dark vibe i i really don't want to say the big s word on here but i feel like some of you may have been suicidal <sighs> um which is you know and i feel like this person may have either talked you out of it or been there for you to let you know that everything was going to be okay and they anchored you to want to stay on this earth to want to stay here on this earth it's like you fought for them because this <clears throat> this person they were that person that didn't judge you for having depression i feel like some of you may have even cried in front of this person and this person was there for you um 
some of you may have tried to hide your tears from your eyes, but I feel like you guys, you guys, th this person has been for you, been there for you. They tolerated your shit when you have ghosted them every so often. Like I don't think you've ghosted them for long, long periods of time. Some of you maybe a couple weeks, but this person is stuck with you regardless. This person has been there. Um, I feel like at one point in the past, you guys may have thought you'd lost this person as well. I felt called to pick up the Malachite. This relationship was divinely orchestrated to show you unconditional love. It was, it was to protect you from being your own worst enemy. It's getting a very emotional vibe. I'm channeling and I'm getting a very emotional vibe. You guys were your own worst enemy. If you guys would sometimes tell yourself you weren't good enough. Oh my gosh, you guys have been through the ringer. I'm like getting this, I'm channeling and I'm getting this energy like, wow. Like I pulled a few, few select crystals out here that I thought were going to help me with the reading and now I know why they're helping me with the reading. Oh my goodness, you guys have been through the ringer. You guys, you guys have been like, well... Like, at one point, I feel like you guys were wondering if you would ever find unconditional love, if you were worth it, if you deserved unconditional love. I felt like some of you thought you didn't deserve it. I felt like some of, some of you thought this person was so good that you didn't deserve them. And so you beat yourself up and kept telling you they deserve better, but really, it's all in your head. You're a very good person. I feel like you guys are that kind of person that will listen no matter what. You'll be there for people no matter what. And you'll stick it out. You'll just be there for them. And if this person, like say this person were, were to need a shoulder to cry on, you would hold them through it all. You know? You are that kind of person that doesn't laugh at people you cr when you cry. I feel like you guys may even be an empath. I feel like you you guys definitely feel other people's emotions. You pick up on it. But you guys... You guys also... You, you're a very talented pile as well. And you don't give yourself enough credit for the talent you have. Some of you are very hard workers. Very talented. And I'm getting that you guys don't give yourself enough credit for how much talent you have. How much... Um, how much work you do. You know... I feel like some of you don't feel like you do enough. And um, I feel like you, I feel like some of you guys push this person away because you didn't feel good enough for the longest time. And I feel like now you're, you're trying to build up your confidence to come forward to this person. And the only message I am getting, I am hearing it flat in my head, is they will accept you. That is the message I am getting. They still love you. They still love you, and they will accept you back in. They still want you. They still love you. They still care about you. They will accept you back in. I feel like you guys have had a lot of ups and downs because I'm drawn to the kind of waves in this malachite crystal. I don't know if you can kind of see them a little bit. But I'm drawn to the waves in the malachite crystal. Um, and I feel like you guys have been through a lot of ups and downs. You guys have kind of reconciled then you've stayed away from this person then you've reconciled with this person then you've stayed away from this person and you've reconciled again and now you're like you're feeling this pull you're like I can't resist this person anymore you're feeling like you can't resist this person anymore and the reason why is you're being divinely guided to actually be with this person this person was literally I'm hearing heaven sent um, I feel like you guys had prayed for a person that would understand every part of you and not judge you. 
there they are. They're here. They're waiting for you. I feel like this person is waiting for you. This person's going to love you through everything. This person, if you're having a rough time, they will carry you through it. If you were to end up furthering this relationship to actually moving in with each other, this person, if you had a rough time and you didn't want to talk about it, I'm going to tell you this person would respect that. Like, because I, I get the vibe that some of you guys don't like to talk about your problems. This person would respect that. If you didn't want to talk about it right then, this person would respect that. However, I do feel like if for some reason you may isolate yourself a little bit, I feel like this person's the cuddling type of person, and this person is going to give you a feeling of security. But I feel like this person won't make you talk about your problems outright. I feel like this person is just going to be there. I mean, like, they'd be there for you. I'm getting lots of messages. I feel like this person that you pushed away is is the person you prayed for. Um, I'm really hearing heaven sent. You know, I feel like if you didn't want to talk about something and even if you curled up on the bed and started to go to sleep right next to them and you didn't want to talk and they knew you didn't want to talk, they'd probably just give you a hug. And that was it. They wouldn't make you talk. They wouldn't... This, this person has been, it, it is the dream person you prayed for. I, this, this is, this is a true unconditional love that, you know, you prayed for. Um, I don't want to say it's hard to find because it's really not hard to find if you believe that you can find the person. I feel like you weren't expecting to finally find the love. You kind of, I feel like you prayed for somebody to understand you and love you unconditionally, and then you kind of let go, and you kind of gave up on the idea. And then all of a sudden, this person showed up in your life, and it was like, wow, this person's such a good person. I feel like you know this person is a good person. I feel like you know this person is a do no harm to none type of person and they're going to walk you through anything they're ride or die i'm really getting ride or die um this person would be there through thick and thin this person has been there through thick and thin they've like even when you kind of push them away they, they still kind of been there and said hey i'm still here they're not going to give up on you and i feel like some of you are afraid that if you advance with this person that they'll give up on you once they see that you can sometimes have emotional breakdowns or um, have moments where you just all of a sudden it's like sometimes all of a sudden you guys will just start crying or you guys may suddenly walk off to the bedroom and just start yelling about your day and you're afraid this is going to scare this person off because this person has been through a lot for, too but this isn't uh, this isn't going to scare this person off i i i have no idea how i'm getting all these channel messages but i'm getting them you are not going to scare this person off with anything about you this person is the person you pray for they are god given to you if you believe in god they are god given they are heaven sent you prayed for this person here they are this is the unconditional love you prayed for so many years ago and i'm hearing that some of you may have even had failed marriage in the past you know and that's what wrecked you well now you're getting another chance at love this person is here for you the person that you prayed for a long time ago they're here and they're not they're not the type of person to give up on you so don't worry about them giving up on you they'll be there all right that's all i've got for pile number one i hope this resonated if it did please feel free to like and subscribe i'm going to move on to pile number two so you guys chose the fluorite let's get into your reading number one was a very intense reading <laughs> Gossamer Princess. 
Dark Moon. You guys need to be prepared for psychic attack. You guys need to you guys need to be careful of psychic attack. I feel like you guys have been having like these random spouts of anger or random just dropping things all the time. Like you're getting clumsy. Um there is somebody that I just watched on YouTube about psychic attack and I am actually going to give you her name. Um Okay, so symptoms of psychic attack and protection. So it's Ashera Star Goddess. Ashera Star Goddess. I'm going to show you her profile. Um, I'm actually going to link her profile for you in the, dis in, in the comments section. I will link her channel for you in the, in the comments section. But I feel like you guys are randomly getting clumsy, dropping things. Some of you guys may have like hot flashes out of nowhere and you don't eat, you're not even sick. You don't even know why you're getting hot. Some of you will get freezing while you're in like the warmest shit and you don't even have any health problems, but you're, you've been undergoing a psychic attack. That's why you got stardust. I feel like you guys have a very open pineal gland or third eye. Um, and I feel like there, you kind of seen this coming, like you kind of were worried about it happening. I feel like you guys were worried about a psychic like attack happening and then it happened. Um, because there was somebody in your midst, um, probably a person who you thought was a friend. There was a person who you thought was a friend, um... I'm getting there's somebody that was involved in the occult that you thought was a friend. Three of Graces. Solace. Vampire, what was I saying about psychic attack? I was just channeling. That's all I was doing, channeling. Psychic attack. I can't fake that. I have not seen any of the cards that I drew. I didn't see any of the cards How you before I drew them. <laughs> I Spider. Black cat. Ooh, yeah. Full of darkness. Blind spot. Ooh. Ooh. This person, you know who they are. You know who this person is. They've, they've been involved in the occult. Okay, so I'm definitely going to link that person down in the comment box with the timestamps after this video is uploaded so that you have it. Um, she has a lot of advice on how to protect yourself from that. Um, hang dream catchers outside your room or up above your bed so that you're not psychically attacked in your sleep. Um, but sage them once a month, okay? Because, um, dream catchers absorb the energy and absorb the dreams. So sage your, your, your dream catchers at least once a month or every couple of weeks. Okay, we've got engagement. I'm hearing some of you will be get in, getting engaged to mar be married in the future. But right now you're kind of in a waiting position. I feel like there's somebody that you want to advance to marriage with, and that's coming. They're saying that's coming, but it's coming in divine timing. Um, they're, they're saying this is worth waiting for. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. We've got passion. I feel like you guys are very sexually involved with this person as well that you want to advance to marriage, and it will come. It will come. An engagement will come, but go with the flow in this relationship i'm really hearing go with the flow in this relationship multifaceted yeah because there's a lot of layers to this relationship um clearing negativity man a lot of gemini's have been having a rough time and things are finally getting better for gemini's um the first vibe i got as i was uh as i like started to get ready for the video was 
I can already tell that Gemini's have been having a rough time and it's starting to get better. We got love life, power animal. You guys need to catch, uh, connect with nature and animals more. Books. I feel like you guys are kind of the bookworm person. You're the bookworm person. You you indulge yourself in a book. You're not afraid to get away in a book and have a little time to yourself but i'm also hearing like embrace your friends make time for others as well i know you like you like push yourself away in a book because i feel like you guys have been having a, a psychic attack going on and so like it seems like i feel like some of you guys may even feel like you're being watched some of you guys may be having these rough moments where you drop things randomly or you know like I'm getting like you drop things a lot I'm really getting a you drop your phone a lot you you drop your phone a lot and you can't figure out why you keep dropping your phone because you're so careful with it um, but you seem to be dropping stuff a lot um, some of you shit is breaking like random shit is breaking um, like some of you may have even dropped your Kindle and had to order a new Kindle is what that's, that's random, I know, but some of you may have dropped your Kindle and had to order a new Kindle, and you're like, what the fuck? And then, like, you're you're scared of dropping your new Kindle, and I feel like you guys have already dropped your new Kindle once. For, for the majority of you that have a Kindle, that's the channeled message I'm getting. And um, I am being called to tell you, stage your home. Okay, I am going to give you a prayer. Okay, I'm going to give you a prayer. Um... Okay, so if you need to watch this over and over again, that's fine, but I'm going to read you out the prayer um, that is great for protecting you against psychic attacks, okay? Okay, so it's the St. Michael the Archangel prayer. You can Google it and find it online. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray and do that. O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Okay, so this is a very, very um, good protection uh, thing because you call on Archangel Michael, but I am telling you that when you do this, Saint Michael the Archangel prayer. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll write out the Saint Michael the Archangel prayer in the comment section for you. I will link that person's YouTube down in the comment section. I will write out the Saint Michael the Archangel prayer for you, and you can screenshot it if you need to. Um, but I will do that in the comment section. I will write it out for you. Um, but make sure you say this prayer at least three times because then you completely invoke the power of Archangel Michael to protect you, okay? I really feel like you guys have an energy vampire in your life. It feels like this friend, this friend who you thought was a friend, is they were involved in the occult. I'm like getting, I'm getting like a very nasty vibe. Like they were involved, involved in the occult and like you had an argument with them and now they're like pissed at you. Um, I don't even know if this person realizes they're psychic attacking you for some people, but some, some of you, I feel like, okay, so what I'm hearing is they're going to get their karma for it. Um, some of them do know that they're psychically attacking you and those people are going to get their karma. Um, they're going to get their karma, okay? I'm really feeling this person was involved in the occult. I'm getting an occult feel. And this person was just like, um, you know, they were really nice to you at first. And they taught you some stuff. But then all of a sudden it was like, I don't know. You had one little argument and they just like... We're like, oh, well, fuck you. I'm the, I'm fucking out of here. You're going to regret this fight. I'm getting this, you're going to regret this fight vibe. Like, or something like, you're going to regret saying this to me. I'm getting, you're, you're going to regret saying this to me. And um, 
so this person, like some of some of them know they're psychically attacking you. Um, um, the majority of them do know they're psychically attacking you. Okay. But you need to be very careful. Um, I'm going to recommend black tourmaline. I'm going to show you my black tourmaline. You can get it in big pieces too. I have my candle because it's going to get dark and sunset. Okay, so we've got self-worth, truth transcends, illusion, open to infinite possibility, reclaim your power. Okay, yeah, I will link that person's video down in the comment section. Um, you need to reclaim your power, you need to protect yourself. Um, this, this, this gal has a lot of information on protecting yourself. Um, the other thing that I am getting from this is a lot of you are gaining financial stability. Because we've got the Nine of Pentacles or the Nine of Earth. You guys are gaining financial stability. You're finally going to come into a little bit of a more financially stable month. I feel like October is going to be a more financially stable month. I feel like if you're going to want to go to a Halloween party or get a costume, you're actually going to be able to afford to go to a Halloween party or get a costume. Like you're actually going to be able to afford to do that. Um, and also, I'm going to recommend to you that you go with the vibe that there's always enough. Okay, so if you if you start to train your brain that there's always enough, there will always be enough. That's power of manifestation. Um, it's the power of manifestation. Okay, we got Ace of Emotion. Okay, so your current relationship is going to grow deeper. Like I said, an engagement is coming eventually. I am seeing that your current relationship is going to grow deeper. I feel like um, some of you may learn about well, you're learning about it now if you don't know about it. Um, advanced reader copies. So if you guys buy on Amazon regularly, some self-published authors will offer advanced readers copies of their book. Now, it's very important that you do not share their book with anybody else because that's piracy. Um, but they offer free books in exchange for writing a review on Amazon. Um, so if you guys are so engrossed in books, you might check out some of the self-published authors. Um, Here's a self-published author I can recommend to you, Rebecca Hamilton. Um, J.J. King is amazing. Um, Cassandra Fear is awesome. Uh, she's really good. She has this self-published book. Oh my gosh, this self-published series is amazing. I can't wait for her third book in the series. I'm getting ready to read the second book. But her books are amazing. Um, there's another self-published author. If you if you are into steamy books, um, it's called Vampires Don't Give Hickeys, and that's what the book is called. It's available in ebook form if you're into steamy books, and it's one of my favorite books. Um, Catherine Vale uh, has some great steamy books too. She's a great romance writer if you like romance novels. I'm just recommending you books because I can tell you guys are a bookworm. So you came across another bookworm. I happen to be a bookworm. <laughs> so yeah, um, I hope you guys don't mind the book recommendations. I'm getting that you're probably going to actually love them because this pile is my bookworm pile. This is my bookworm pile. Um, if you guys want to connect with me more, uh, you can follow me on my Instagram. It's Aquarius Amethyst 777 Tarot. Um, and I'm on Instagram. I haven't really put up a lot on my Facebook, but I, I do have that public Instagram if you guys would like to connect with me more. Um, but I'm really seeing that things are going to start getting better for you. I'm really seeing that you're going to be able to figure out how to protect yourself. Of course you are, especially if you watch this because I'm giving you all the advice you need. I'm giving you a link to everything that you need to protect yourself. However, here's what I'm getting. Do not engage in argument. Okay? I'm getting some of you may have your Mars in a fire sign. Um, and if so, Mars and fire signs have bad tempers, but not only that, when you undergo a psychic attack, you can have random spouts of anger, like, you know, so you have to be careful with that. 
Um, but yeah, you can have random spouts of anger if you undergo a psychic attack. And you can randomly lash out at people. Um, I feel like you guys are the people that, the kind of people that know your worth and you like to really have fun with friends. I feel like you may meet more of your soul family. I feel like your soul family is coming to you. Um, I feel like you guys have been waiting for friends that don't betray you. All right. You guys have been waiting for friends that don't betray you to come along. And I feel like that's coming. Your soul family is coming. Friends that don't betray you are coming. They're coming into your life. I feel like you guys have had a lot of trouble finding friends that aren't bitches and assholes. And, you know, I'm just, I'm channeling. I'm saying what they're saying to say. But, you know, I know what that's like. I've been through it. And I actually... I had met somebody on PlayStation and I had to unfriend them because they started to get really fucking toxic. And so I was like, yeah, no, uh uh. So I was like, no, we're not doing the toxic. And so I just kind of like, you know. All right. So that's all I've got for pile number two. I'm going to move on to pile number three. So for those of you that chose this lovely Labradite for pile number three, I have my candle here because it's going to get dark out and I don't have a lot of light. So we have Scared to Fly. Okay. Okay. You guys are having a lot of anxiety. I'm getting like really bad anxiety. You guys are like, sometimes your anxiety is so bad your hands are shaking. Golden gift. I'm not online. Sorry. Where the hell did she go? The littlest fairy. Hmm. I feel like you guys are timid because of your anxiety. You guys are very timid because of your anxiety. Very timid, very shy. The unicorn and the maiden. Hmm. Oh. I feel like you're going to have a soulmate relationship coming to you. I'm really getting that. Oh my gosh, I cannot fake this shit. I cannot fake this shit. Eternal love. I was like, I feel like you're going to have a soulmate relationship coming to you. And here's eternal love. The veil. The future. Yeah, this is coming in the near future. The soulmate relationship is coming to you in the near future. And this person's going to pull you out of your shell. This is my single pile. You guys aren't involved with anybody. Um, th this, this is my single pile. If you pick this pile, this person is single. And you have a new person coming towards you, a new soulmate coming towards you. And they're gonna, this is, this person's gonna be a person that'll pull you out of your shell and make you feel confident again. Make you appreciate the beauty and value of life again. Look that change. Yeah, this person's going to rock your world. They're gonna change your life. They're gonna... They're going to make you see the beauty in everything. Ghost regret. I feel like this person has been through a lot, though. This person that is coming into your life has been through a lot in their life. Um, some, I feel like they may be a little hard on themselves at times. They may have some depression. And they may regret a lot of the choices that they make because they feel they're not good enough. So just be aware that this person may have a little depression, which I feel like is why you're you guys are going to click so well, is because this person has depression and you have anxiety, and so you guys are going to click very well. Movement. Some of you guys may be moving homes. I'm really getting some of you guys may be moving homes. Some of you guys may be traveling. Some of you guys may be doing a lot of shopping in October. Bring a gentle touch. This person that's coming towards you is going to be very cuddly. Um, this person is that person that's going to kind of like, they're probably the cuddly type right away. Um, they're, they're going to be that person that's there for you. They're going to be really cuddly. Um, 
which I'm sensing is a good thing because you have anxiety and you like to cuddle as well. Be playful. This person's going to make you laugh. This person that's coming towards you is going to make you laugh. Bring your ideas to life. This person that is coming towards you, I feel like you guys have wanted some, but some kind of love to come in where someone accepts you, someone supports you, someone trusts your decisions because I feel like your family in the past may not have trusted your decisions or anything, and so you've been waiting for someone to come along that understands you, particularly a lover. And this person is going to support all your ideas. Yeah, romance blooms and you find yourself falling in love. Gifts of flowers, love letters, and poems read out loud or all in the future. Marriage proposals, weddings, and past like connections are possible. Someone who is romantic, dreamy, and emotional may enter your life. This person could be an artist who is an idealist about love. So I feel like this person is going to be like a really romantic person. They're going to be a really kind and romantic person. This, this person is going to give you so much joy. You have so much joy coming to you. This, this is a solid relationship that could last forever. This, this is a solid relationship that could last for years. Two of water, yes. My goodness, you guys have a beautiful love coming your way. I am feeling like in October to end, it, it could be sometime in October or end of October. Keep in mind, um, this is a general reading and you, if, if you know your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs, check out your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs as well. Aww. Sacral chakra. You're highly sensitive to chemicals, additives, processed foods, and energies right now. Respect your sensitivities by avoiding harsh items, situations, and relationships. Yeah, so I feel like you guys have family that could be very toxic towards you, and that's why you're looking for a special someone, is because this family instills fear in you, too. They make you feel fearful about who you are and what you do in life and all of that. And I feel like, yeah, you guys may have even been hurt in the past. We got release your ex. Some of you may be in a hurt in the past. Um, but um, I'm getting some of you may have been hurt in the past, but I feel like it was family that hurt you. I really feel like it could have been family that hurt you. And... Um, for some of you, it was an ex that hurt you, but I, it really feels like family. Um, some of you is family. Some of you, it's an ex. Some of you, um, you might have been in some kind of abusive situation or relationship. We do got forgiving and learning. We do have ready to love again. So it's saying it's time. It's time. You are ready for this new relationship. You're ready for this love. And you got soulmate. I can't fake this. I said, I feel like you have a soulmate coming in and their soulmate card. And then we have own your divine power and stress reduction. So I feel like you guys are finally going to get a break from all the hectic shit. You're going to get a break from all the bullshit. You're going to get a chance to kind of relax. I'm really feeling like you're going to get a chance to relax. You're going to get the love you've been seeking. You're finally going to gain somebody that understands you. And this person is going to kind of love you, but they're also going to be a form of soul family as well. And the reason why I say soul family is because soul family is the type of family that earns the respect of true family. Um, so, like, say you have a toxic family. I, to me, when there's a toxic family out there, I don't consider them to be family. That's just me. Uh, when, when people are toxic, I don't consider them family. Um, but soul family, however, like, say, I've got a couple friends that don't even live in the same state as me, and they're my soul family. They talk me through everything. They're with me through everything, um, and they haven't left my side, you know? So, your soul family's coming to you as well. You're getting soul family, you're getting a lover. You're going to find people that treat you right in October. I feel like you might have a little bit of fun in October too. Um, however, I do feel like your anxiety may still be a little high in October. So, you know what? I'm going to recommend to you Labradite. You guys chose Labradite. Labradite is a great stone 
for um, people that are toxic towards you. Um, it, it keeps them from draining your energy too much. Like, seriously, when I don't wear my Labradite, it's like, wow. It makes a difference when I wear my Labradite because I have a bracelet. But this protects you against toxic energy, energy vampires. It helps bring luck into your love life. You know, it does a lot. It's a great stone. It's a very healing stone. It brings a lot of luck into your life. But that's all I got for you, pile number three. I hope this resonated. If it resonated, please feel free like to like and subscribe. Take care. Bye, Gemini.